internet and welcome back to Space Engineers. So, as I'm sure you saw in the lovely time lapse, the base is pretty much done. Uh, or at least this part of it, I guess. So, yeah, let's go on a tour. So, I'm started here in the sort of sitting area. Got this nice lovely window. You can look out into the uh, ship bay. From over here, you can see outside a little bit, which is nice. And the uh, row of unfinished armor uh, blast doors, which I probably need to finish. So yeah. Turning into the main part, you can see we've got our little desk over this way. We have these nice little red accenty things that I put in, because, I don't know, seem nice. I wanted a little splash of color. So, yeah, got that. You can see our med bay room with our med bay through the little window. And if we swing over here, got a nice med bay. All piped up and ready to go. If we go through this door, we come into the part that was here before, which is the uh, factory area. It's all about the same, except you may notice this door. So, this is another, well, I guess, an airlock. I've not shown you the main airlock yet. But, this is an airlock. Comes out to the outside for access underneath. I figured since I'm down here and, you know, I need to be able to access and maintain these things and repair them or whatnot... I might as well, instead of just having to cut holes in the wall all the time, have it designed in so that I can easily get down, get up, and I won't have to worry about depressurizing spaces once I pressurize in here. Which I have not done yet, as you can tell by the low O2 and freezing temperature. So, I guess from here you can see up to the uh, upper observation area, which we'll see a little bit closer in a minute. But, going over, yes, yeah, so we've got our little reception desk for whatever receptioning duties. We have the main airlock that goes out onto the actual hangar floor. You can see from the front, it's just kind of, you know, unassuming wall just kind of in the middle. I did do these little colored accenting things on the... Uh, pillars just for fun. Now we can go upstairs in our little nook. So, up here I guess. Oh no. Could have practiced this out before so I knew what I was doing. Uh, we'll get this nice sweeping view. So, we have our sort of kitchen area with the counter you can sit at, some drink vending machines. In here just the kind of little kitchen nook for the whoever's cooking to serve everyone. There's this little away table where people can eat or play cards or whatever. You've got the two big windows spanning here so you can look out and look down on the hangar, look around. Let's a little light in uh, from the open door. Then over here we have our two layers of bed so, you can see the little rock through behind them. Get in nice and comfy, I'm sure. Never mind the fact that there will be someone's feet right above your head. Yeah, we've got our bathrooms. Which again, just never mind that you can see the people at that table from the bathroom. It is fine. Then, we've got in here our little... Base command, oh, I forgot that, uh, I forgot the other seat. Okay. Ah. There we go. But, uh, oh, that's another thrush. So, yeah. Most of this is done. You can see from up here, we can look down on the factory. And we have these two panels, which I should actually maybe set up. Uh, maybe energy and hydrogen on that one. 
We'll make it kind of a red. So maybe a little darker red. Yeah. And then what goes good on this one? Uh, velocity is probably not going to be handy. Maybe weather? Except I don't have weather turned on, so it doesn't matter. Uh, hmm. Gravity, in case the gravity changes. And we'll just do digital clock. There we go. So we can see there, we'll be able to see how much stuff we have stored once we have stuff. I don't know, just something to do. Go down to one downside is there isn't really cargo access anywhere but in here. Oh, I don't have the stuff I need to build the other bit, so. We'll order that up. Yeah, the other downside, as you notice, my uh, pressurization hasn't been done yet. I realized after I'd kind of finished all this, finished all the welding, I was like, oh. I need to, uh, I have to actually put in the stuff to pressurize. So, I think what I'll do, uh, let's get some of these. Make them, is this the color I used in here? No, it's this. Hopefully I used this everywhere. Uh, hmm. Let's try. Oh, there's tons of room up here. This should work. So, what I'm going to do, because I don't need, uh, oh. Okay, well that changes the plan a little bit then. Uh, right. I forgot that these go the other way. Okay, we will ignore that and do something different. What I was going to try and do was have the vent recessed in the ceiling. My goal was to have it flush with the ceiling. That's not going to work. So, guess what I can do? Maybe... Yeah. We'll go ahead and stick one down here. Maybe like off of this. And then we'll just basically use it to pressurize the system. And then have vents inside to depressurize. Or to, I guess, to pressurize the base from the storage system. Uh... Oh, I don't actually have stuff. Bum bum bum. Okay, so this will be set to depressurize, so it'll draw in the low O2 from out here. Then, where would be a good spot? So I want to have two in here. Oh, one should probably go on top of the O2 generator. Uh, oh, I should finish the chair. I have all the bits for the chair. Hopefully. Yes. Okay. So now, I can take, yeah, take out parts from one of those, and we'll just sit it in here on top of this. And make ten of those, because we're going to need them. Uh, where would be best spot? I guess we could just stick them, like stick one under here. We could have a hole in the floor. That's an option. 
Hmm. What? Okay, so this is just outside. Downside is the uh, thing's either going to be sticking in a bit or have a hole. Dang. I wish I'd thought about this ahead of time because then I could have done it ahead of time. That's a half. Going the wrong way. Uh, actually, that could be an interesting something. So, if I drill in here, because this is a half slab, the vent will fit here, like so. Then what I can do... Actually, that's good. Uh... Oh, except this uh, door kind of sticks in there. <clears throat> I guess I could have this just vented separately. Have the vent either stick out from the wall or stuck into the wall. Seems kind of wasteful, though. Well, I suppose it shouldn't be that bad. What is that? It'll need to be built, I think. So this is nice, because this area is kind of just an awkward flat bit. Though, maybe here would be better. So, it's nice. Oh, a little design tip. If you just have a blank flat wall, that doesn't look very impressive. It's just kind of boring. So, it can be nice to put little bits in to make it look less flat. Just to uh, give more interest, something to catch your eye. So if I put that there, then I can clear out that. The reason I want to clear that out... So I'll use one of those, and I can put a cargo container here so that I have easy cargo access without having to go all the way back into the base. Kind of from right in here, I can use that for building. Yeah, that's 100% what I should do. Then I can use that there with a panel on the front of it so that it doesn't you know, stick out like a sore thumb. And then pressurize in here with a little vent in the corner. So. Let's get all the bits we need. Get that one. I'll go ahead and crack all these open for now so it doesn't start pressurizing. No, I guess it would be smart to, uh... Verify that it actually is pressurizing before. Yeah, let's see. Oh, what's well, because this is open too. Uh, did I finish? Yeah, that vent's done. Yes, we have pressure. Okay. So now. cycle the air there. We need to go underground. Uh, it looks like we need to drill a little bit. Yeah, to get into the, uh, the pipe network that we already have. That should do. And what we're gonna need now... Is a bunch of interior plate. So we have that conveyor there. Then, yeah, we have our cargo container there. 
and because this area isn't going to a, a sealed part, we can end actually. Hold on. Because again, not sealed. I don't have to worry about sealing this off because the uh, air vent seals off the area. So we can just use one of those. The panel can still go on. And then, cargo container. Straight tube. Curvy tube. And a nice line of straight tubes. Place that with one of those. Okay. So. Now we need all the parts for this, and I need electricity, so. Okay, I forgot the energy. Uh, good thing the med bay is right here. Oh. Right, because this is a warm space, so I actually don't need electricity in here. Haha. -ha. Yeah, we'll get some anyway, because I do need it to run the tools. It is nice. I'm really glad when I have these stairs here. Just being able to run back and forth up to the uh, cargo instead of having to, you know, run up, use my jet plaque, flit around, then, you know, land again. Makes life much easier. Okay, there's a container. Now. I can just do everything I need to do from here. Bada bing, bada boom. And I can access my steel. Put my panel up. Perfect. I guess up close you can kind of see through the gap, and that doesn't look as great, but, you know, from a distance that's all that really matters, so. Uh, and actually, from a distance, got an idea. So we've got these two. Oh, actually, they're on that side. What's on oh, those are edges? Okay. What I'm gonna do? I'll just put all new panels right up to the ceiling. This will give a little bit more color. And hopefully make this look a little more uh, interesting and dynamic. Or just kind of silly. Uh, here. Luckily on large grid blocks, these are much easier to grind down. The small grid panels are essentially impossible to get at. So, we'll try instead are some little under window highlights. Just subtle splash of color. It's not doing any weird dividing. And it kind of goes with the little color panels we have in there. Ow. Yeah, I think that looks decent. Some little under eye shadow, but that's fine. Uh, yeah. It's good, and maybe. Hmm. Unfortunately, I don't think we have a little 
triangle like this. Because there's that in the... What is... I believe it's in this set. Yeah. We have that, but it's not very flat, so... But we can do... Similar thing, just to... Again, make... Make it look more interesting. Eh. It'll do. Okay. Well. That is that. I guess the next order of business... We have our base... Built. Comfortable. Everything's pressurized. I should go open up the door up here to pressurize it. So, you may recall that up there. That's my little GPS for where I want my tower. I have a plan as to how to make that tunnel. So, what we're going to need for that is a bunch of steel. Oh, and I probably need hydrogen. Uh, actually. Maybe we do this from one of our ships here. The miner has the most cargo. And I think is best suited to carrying cargo. Oh, except for all the piping is kind of a pain. Uh, I guess I could just slap it in each side. But honestly. So the welder has one cargo container. The miner has two. But the welder also has the welder and the connector. So yeah, maybe we will take this one. Uh... We'll go ahead. I'll try and remember what all I need. Uh, actually. So my plan is to build a, essentially a drill rig. Just a simple, single drill on pistons to kind of shove into the dirt. And we will use that, essentially pushing down, clearing room then building more pistons until we can reach the depth that we're at the base. So actually... Oh no, that should work because the cliff base marker is about the height I want to be. So I should be able to tell when this is about... Well, this one. Uh, when this is about at kind of head level, I should be at about the right spot. So... Let's get uh, parts for this. Okay. The only reason I'm not using my shift click, or I guess control click, alt click, one of the clicks, uh, is because I don't want it to go back into the main cargo system, which it might do. I don't know for sure. But... Uh, give me computers. There we go. Yeah, so we'll do that. We need one of these. We'll just kind of put the rest of it to production. There we go. Unless I just added a second, but we should be alright. Okay, and... Last but not least, the stuff for this. Which we'll let it sit for a second. This is nice having everything piped up so I can just order parts from anywhere, pull them out of anywhere, and go from there. Okay. So that's three pistons. That should be enough to get us started. Uh, let's get some more stuff. 
I guess I could have recharged power from the, uh, other thing from the ship itself. And this will be easier. Okay. So, it is the dead of night. We are going up into the sky. I guess I should mention, uh, so during the time lapse, one thing I did notice, uh, there was a reaver floating around. For anyone, I may have talked about him before on the series. I don't think I've encountered one. But, uh, for anyone familiar with the Firefly series, you may know, or series was, I guess, a couple episodes, uh, you know what Reavers are. They're those, and they're in Space Engineers, and they are nasty. Uh, they, much like Reavers and Firefly, they will come after you if you so much as move and they see it. Uh, they enjoy death and blowing up everything, and they have a ton of missiles, generally. So, yeah, one of those was flying about on the surface, just nonchalantly. It didn't notice me, but, uh, yeah, they're about. So, hopefully one's not there today. Uh, where is, okay, there's the ship. We... Just kind of jet up. There's going to be a fair way down from here. It's where... Yeah, nearly 500 meters above the... Uh, I guess 450 meters about. Above the base. Uh, it's also not very flat up here. Let's maybe do that to keep us stable. Or not. Uh, hmm. Maybe if I can, uh, why am I, oh, that's why one of my thrusters is doing weird. Uh, there we go. Ooh. That's not ideal. Maybe we wedge ourselves in this corner. This is not an ideal spot to be. Okay, that'll work. So. We kind of want to drill down here. Here's my plan for how to do that. If I go ahead, get some of my steel. Uh, yes, perfect. That blue grid should be the alignment of our base. Which means I can put uh, I guess we'll go here. Yeah. So I can put a block that is snapping to the grid of the base here, which means the hole I drill should be aligned and correct to the base. Hopefully. Uh, yeah. At the very least, it'll be perpendicular to the base. So, now what we do, I'll need a piston, needs to be higher than that. We'll go up here. Uh, maybe we'll go one lower. So, this will work a lot like the... Uh, piston rigs we did back on Earth, except for it's just one piston pushing down, making a single small hole, and not moving. So... Oh, one thing I forgot, too. 
how I'm going to want to do this. I'm going to want to use the right click drilling to make a big enough hole. And to do that, I need a cockpit because you can't set it to right click drill on its own. If you just turn it on, it collects the stone and does the smaller hole. So, I'll have to fly back and grab a, uh, some sort of control seat. And that shouldn't be too bad. Let's get our, these, to build our wind turbine on top. Okay. So... That is that. Uh, guess. What is the cheapest? I feel like a control seat's one of the cheaper options. Or a flight seat, probably. So we'll just use one of those. I will go get the bits for it real quick. Oh, I keep forgetting I haven't welded up out here either. Need to do that. Uh, oh. And hey, this is coming in handy. Because I can now pull from it. Now we go back up. Oh. That's nice. There's Mars and Earth off in the distance. I may, depending on how I do... So I had a thought for this tower, because originally I kind of just wanted something to be an observation area. Which I think it's still going to be. But, uh, I also realized I probably need more power production. So this can also be used for wind turbines. But I definitely want to design it in a way so that I can, from here, look up and see the planets. And I guess that might be Triton there? I don't know. But, yeah, that would be nice to look up and see. Okay. We now have a very red drill. Uh, let's go ahead. So if I right click. Yep, it is right click drilling. Now, how I want to do this, hopefully the trick still works. I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, but we can just set that to reverse and negative point one should be slow enough. Okay, so if I hold down right click, it'll start right click drilling. Now. I reverse, and the drill starts plunging. Hopefully this works. Dang it. Uh, in the past, if you were right-clicking and got out, the drill would continue to go. Uh, it looks like that is no longer how it works. So... Okay. Well, let's make this first hole, and then we'll see where we are from there. Oh. Actually, okay, back from that. Uh, something I just realized. So you may notice I'm kind of uh, drilling out my foundation here a little bit. So let's go ahead and build this out like so. That can happen with a uh, right-click drilling where essentially the radius of the hole is larger than, well, it extends beyond where you're connected and you can actually disconnect yourself from the ground and just topple in the hole you just drilled. So, yeah, not ideal. Okay, back to the time lapse.
So, that is a hole. We would, I think, we would have been just okay on the corner. But that block is completely overhanging. So, yeah, good thing we reinforced that. Uh, yeah. Well, that's a pretty good diameter hole. That should be plenty of room to build an elevator with a little car on it that can take me up. So, yeah. I think that should be all right. So, hopefully it'll get quicker and quicker as I'm able to add... In fact, while we're here, because we have the parts... Let's yeah, put these back in. We can add the other two pistons. Like so. I guess the ends don't really even matter. Because I don't even need them to pull cargo. Yeah. Now, because we have the room. No, we do not have the steel. That's the wrong type of uh, thingy. Well, we can place it at least. Okay. Oh, it was much easier to do when you could walk under the drill. But we could honestly have added. Uh, we might have been able to add another piston, but. Now, if we get in, set these all to negative point one as well. Reverse, reverse. Now, if we right click, we should be able to get even deeper.
that's a hole. Oh. How deep are we now? Oh, it's dark too. Okay. Well, so 40 meters. We're still roughly 400 meters away from the base. This is going to take a while. But I think it's going to be working. I mean, at least from here, that looks like a pretty straight down tunnel. So that should be good. Yeah. So I guess that's where we'll end it for today. With me standing here holding an invisible grinder in front of a very large hole. So yeah. That'll do it. Thank you everybody so much for watching. Feel free to check out any of my other stuff. And till next week. Bye-bye.